What is going on YouTube? My name is Satan. I'm a beat producer, musician, video director and editor and all of that shit that I have. So if you guys haven't seen any of my work, I highly recommend that you guys follow our page on Instagram which is called Caption Films. That's where we post all our photography and music video content. And you can also follow me on my personal account, Issues365 on Instagram. So about a few months ago, I made a video showing you guys how I edited my pictures on Adobe Lightroom mobile version. And many people might have found that video to be a bit too technical for their taste. Uh, many people don't want to go through this whole process of editing one picture. So in this video, I'm making that whole process easier because I'm giving you guys five free filters that I've personally made and personally used on my pictures. So you guys can copy and apply those to your photography, which can help you guys boost your mobile photography or if you're a professional photography, photographer. English. Why? Why English? Why? So, um, first of all, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend that you go watch it so you catch a glimpse of what this whole thing is about. If you're going to use these filters and they do not work the same way that they look on my pictures, it's probably because, for one, I use a camera, number two, because I've been using this app for months. So I know it in and out. So before we jump straight into it, I want to put a disclaimer out. I have to let you guys know that these filters are not magic. They don't work on every picture. They don't work on every lighting environment. And they don't work for every phone. But I've taken pictures on my phone and used the same filters. That's why I've decided to choose those top five to put them out. So what you're gonna need for these filters is you need to have Adobe Lightroom. So if you guys do not have Adobe Lightroom, there's no point to this whole video if you don't have it. It's completely free, 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 free. So once you have Adobe Lightroom, you share these DNG files, hashtag filters, to Adobe Lightroom, and then all you have to do is copy settings and paste to whatever picture that you want to edit. So the list that I have made for you guys is, the first one is called Cyan5, I don't I'm weird with names. Uh, the first one is called Cyan5. It's kind of a vintage, old school, blue, whitish looking filter. Um, if you follow me, you've seen this on a, a bunch of my pictures. And the second one is called Apple Beam. third one being nature six which i mostly use on female because you know women you want to keep everything natural so the fourth one is called snack o2 and the fourth and five <laughs> the fifth and final one is called blue streak I'm not gonna explain it, I don't know, it's, if you guys can see it, I don't have to explain it. So I'm gonna go through an editing tutorial for you guys, just to show you how these filters work. So what you wanna do is, I've already copied the settings of Snacks O2, and I'm gonna paste this to a picture that I've taken on my phone. So if there's anything that you wanna change, let's say you have a particular outfit, and this filter completely destroys Whatever colors that you have on, all you have to do is come here to the, the lightning, the light bulb looking icon. If you want to change any color, all you have to do is drag either the saturation, line, curve, whatever, and that completely changes how the color looks. Let's say you have a green outfit on. In this filter, green is completely out. So you're gonna push it back in, you punch it back in. When you change blue out, change it in, it goes for every color. But if that's not the case, and there's something else that you cannot understand, or what I recommend for you to do is play with the tint slider, which you can see what does what it does there. Or you play with the temperature slider. This helps out with skin tones if anything is dead. Alright. So, I'm not going to go too in-depth in this. I've completely made two videos about this. If you haven't seen them, please go check them out. This will completely help to the whole idea of this video. So, I hope you guys have fun with these filters. Customize them. Make them your own. Change anything that you want. Have fun with them. Just go out. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.